Now, I will say my race here in Texas is a battleground race. My last race, as you know, Maria, I won by less than three points. And, 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 and so I'm, I'm worried about this election. Ted Cruz is worried about this election. And normally when politicians say that, what they're saying is give me money. Give me that money right now, I need it. Even if they're dominating in the polls or whatever, they want money, they want it right now. But he actually has real reason to be worried. And we wanna dive into a little bit of it. So let's break it down. A University of Texas at Tyler survey found that Cruz and one of the eight candidates running against him, this is Representative Colin Allred, that's the current front runner, are both tied at 41% when potential voters are asked who they may support. There are 12% saying that they are unsure. So we don't know exactly how that 12% might break down. But Ted Cruz is the incumbent. He has been in that office for many years at this point. He is a national figure. He is, you know, for some reason, he has a good following on the right. That is so not the position that a senator running in Texas wants to be in at this point. And I wanna remind you for context that the last time he had to run for reelection, he did win, obviously, he's the senator. He won against Beto O'Rourke, but it was close, 2.6 points. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait, click join now on YouTube. I'm not entirely sure exactly how the polling went for that. Contextually, I don't remember Beto O'Rourke like leading in any of the polls six months out from the election. So it is possible that he is in a literal worse position right now. Now, we have to speculate as to why that might be. Why is it that Ted Cruz is doing really poorly? Well, the reasons I would like it to be is that he has generated a horrible reputation for himself that even conservatives should wonder why he is so quick to flee their state when things get tough. When conservatives and farmers are dying in the freezing winters or dying in the scorching summers and the, the power grid isn't being changed in a way that will protect their lives and he instead flees to go on a vacation or something. If I were a conservative, that would bother me. Or the fact that he's been a senator for years and years and years and what achievements has he brought home to Texas? He's got a popular podcast, I'll give him that. But on policy, I don't know what he's delivered. It could be that, but it could just be, you know, Texas is shifting in a direction that is not as solidly red. Some of the, the, the urban areas of Texas are growing fast. Everybody's speculated that that demographic shift is someday gonna put it in play. Maybe we're finally seeing that. It could also be, and look, this is more of a thing that will play out on election day. If it's gonna be that close, what he needs is someone who is going to boost turnout. And Donald Trump has never been that guy. Not in the races where he's the figurehead of the party, but not running in the midterms. And even not when he's running as president. If Donald Trump is the nominee, and if he's a drag on the turnout of Republicans in November, that could potentially be enough for Cruz to lose reelection. And that is not what he needs right about now. Now, Allred has raised $21 million, it's a lot of money. As I said, there are seven other candidates. We don't know exactly how that's gonna shake out, perhaps we'll see. Um, but for now, I just wanna go to one more clip of Ted Cruz. This is when he was on Mark Levin's show, attacking Mitch McConnell for not helping him as things were already not looking great. So my last reelection six years ago was at the time, it was the most expensive Senate race in US history. I was outspent three to one. And I ended up winning by less than three points. Mitch McConnell spent $300 million nationwide in Senate races. You know how much he spent in Texas? Zero, not one penny. I'm right now, as you know, in a very tough reelection race in Texas. The Democrats, Chuck Schumer has made clear I'm his number one target. The Democrats intend to spend over $100 million to defeat me in Texas. We just had a poll last week that showed it as a one point race. And yet we can expect Mitch again, not to spend any money to defend me. Maybe Mitch McConnell's not all bad. <laughs> He's gonna leave Ted Cruz out alone, cold in the night to fend for himself. Maybe he's not all bad.